Hey, good afternoon, everyone, and welcome to the Fourth World Prison segment. I am George Martirano. Today, uh, I'm going to share with you something that happened just the other night, and it's got nothing to do with prisoner, but it's got to do with an ex-prisoner who is I. Okay, uh, it seems that uh, some people know and some people don't know. Uh, I've been home a little over three months, a day or two over three months, and uh, you know, I'm living uh, in a beautiful home here in, uh, in Florida, and uh, even though there's uh, plenty of bedroom space, I, I, don't, I don't sleep in a bed. I love sleeping outside because uh, uh, my life is, uh, you know, it's, it's very different. I do things uh, uh, not of the norm. You know, I'll sleep a little bit, I'll get up a little bit. And in the middle of the night, you don't know where you can find me. You can find me on a beach. You can find me jogging, walking. You can even find me talking to, uh, uh, which I have been, uh, a group of homeless people. People don't know that uh, St. Pete, Florida is the fifth largest homeless population in America. So uh, I'll share something with you. Uh, and, you know, I stepped outside and a uh, little wind, a uh, little rain. It doesn't bother me because, you know, I work out much as I can, and uh, I don't nap, so when I sleep, I sleep. <laughs> well, anyway, it seems the other night I didn't pay attention to the weatherman, uh, which I don't, I don't pay attention to the weatherman, which type of weather, uh, I'm out in all types of weather. Anyway, uh, I'm sleeping, and uh, I thought I heard drum beats. <laughs> it wasn't drum beats, ladies and gentlemen, it was a uh, downpour, I mean a real downpour of a lot of rain and uh, and wind, so much so that the, the tent was actually, you know, bucking up in the air. And, you know, I've been through a lot in, uh, in, in prison, and you know, riots and all kinds of craziness in the cell, floods and fires. And uh, I said, you know, I'm a ride with you. And I just turned on my side and Tent was bucking and uh, and uh, started to fall back to sleep and damn, I heard a bang and the ground shook. Well, lightning hit uh, not too far from me. Anyway, as you know, Florida, the state of Florida, is the lightning capital of America. So, and uh, I sat up at the end of the my my cot. I got a cot. I got it fixed up pretty nice and. Uh, I made a decision, see, I said, uh, I said, well, you know, put in your mind you are going to ride the storm out, but then I remembered the bunk I was sleeping on was, uh, had a metal frame, <laughs> so I said, uh, I could just see the paper tomorrow, and uh, George Martirano, longest nonviolent offender, prolific writer, etc., etc., well, he's got a hole in him big as a bowling ball from a, a lightning bolt in his tent. So anyway, I got up, uh, I got up out of the tent and uh, I didn't want to, you know, but the rain was coming and as soon as I got out of that tent, the tent basically flew away. <laughs> we retrieved it and, and fixed it up. Everything was soaked. I'm back in it. I was back in it. Another. But I uh, just want to share with that. Sometimes, uh, you know, Mother Nature is uh, uh, way bigger than anyone. And, and it's, oh, and the sad part, you know, geez, tornadoes hit the, that night in, in Sarasota, not too far from here, and destroyed homes and took lives. So even though I made some jest of it, but, you know, them people need your prayers. And uh, I want to share with that segment you uh, of the fourth world. We'll be continuing and uh, enjoy it every minute of it. Thank you.